The views and opinions expressed by Pete Motsley and Poophead of the Week do not represent the views of the staff and DJs of 89X, WLNX FM. Poophead of the Week is brought to you by The Book of Life by Glenn Beck. Just like the Bible, but with more swastikas and crying. Let's travel time a little ways. Before there was Poophead of the Week and before I came to Lincoln, there was a little thing back in the vast wasteland of Streeter High School in Mr. Mark Yonick's modern U.S. history class my senior year, first semester. It was an extra credit activity called Who Are You Crappin'? Not to be confused with the Boars and Bernstein segment on 670 The Score in Chicago. And anyone who was slightly mad about someone in the news would rant on such the idiot. Yonick's class was at 9 a.m., which meant that you couldn't exercise anyone's brains unless they lit a doobie in the car on the way to school. And Crappen was on Fridays, so maybe there was some early partying going on the night before. Of course, it's Streeter, so I have no doubt about any of that happening. I did eight Crappens, and I saved them like I saved most of the stuff I wrote when I was a teen. It's like a personal memento of the only thing that gave me anything close to comfort in those years, until a pink-haired woman arrived and spewed Gaga and Lord of the Rings in my sanity. Hi, Heather! And I also save those little essays for times like this, when college classes, society, and the warm weather hate me and my creativity suffers. So today, I'm going to read to you an old Who You Crappin'. This was the first one, written three weeks before homecoming weekend in September 2008. The poop heads, as you would call them now, security guards at the old Yankee Stadium with an unknown policy that would make the people at Huggies consider marketing a line of tampons. And now from the pages of the oddball side of the current events spectrum. It is not just the New York Yankees who are crapping on the job. It's the security at Yankee Stadium who have been taking the dump. And it's one man who got the boot from a Yankees game for breaking a rule he and none of us were even aware of, and in essence was prevented from taking a dump of his own. Bradford Campo Lorian attended Tuesday night's Yankees versus Red Sox game at Yankee Stadium in New York City, when during the traditional seventh inning stretch playing of Kate Smith singing God Bless America, Mr. Loring was told by a New York City cop not to leave his seat to go to the bathroom until the song was finished. In response, he told the cop he didn't care for the song and he just wanted to go do his business in the john, unto which the cops put Mr. Loring's arms behind his back, ejected him from the game, and told him to leave the country if he didn't like it. Granted, I'd be obliged personally to stay in my seat to respect my country, but this is a seventh inning stretch. When a guy's gotta go, a guy's gotta go. The only thing close to the foolishness of this quote-unquote rule is if someone was kicked out of Wrigley Field for not singing Take Me Out to the Ball Game. We are all Americanized enough to justify our freedoms and respect our patriotic colors, while simultaneously clearing our bowels of the disgusting ballpark nacho cheese. As far as the political stance on this situation, the one person that can mix politics but taking a dump and perhaps handle the situation better with New York's finest would be Joe Biden. He wasn't afraid to dump his logs in front of the press. He served them coffee and bagels, too. That's my kind of vice president. I just hope he washed his hands before he pulled into the driveway. Nevertheless, Yankee Stadium's security for enforcing a little-known rule and perhaps increasing the percentage of New York residents suffering from constipation at this moment. Who are you crapping? 